In this video, I challenged a GeoGuessr expert and a GeoGuessr beginner to face off in an extreme US competition. This is Radu, a veteran of the game, universally considered one of the greatest players of all time. And this is Carson, a friend of mine from back in college who just started grinding the game this year. I'm really impressed with how quickly he's getting good at the United States, so I wanted to find out how he'd compare to an established expert when I give them some extremely difficult and baity locations. Make sure to give this video a like and let's see what happens. We got Carson and Radu here with me. How's it going, guys? Very good. Doing good. I just started grinding maybe a month ago. Well, I've been playing for a while, since 2018, I think. I think we're just ready to hop right into the first location. The rules of this challenge are simple. I have 12 still pictures from around the US to show them. They just have to guess the right state within two minutes max each time. They get three points for guessing the right state, one point for a bordering state, and zero points otherwise. Carson, we're gonna start with you. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of snow here. No license plates, no street names. I feel like this is just somewhere in the Midwest or Great Plains, South Dakota, North Dakota. Tough though. I could easily see this being Connecticut or Massachusetts as well. I think I'll just lock in South Dakota for the spicy pick. Locking in South Dakota for the first one. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of snow coverage here. We got some, some pines in the back and also some other like spruce trees or something. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Um, I would say the houses feel fairly Midwestern. With the pines, I would probably be leaning more towards like Minnesota, maybe like Wisconsin. I feel like you wouldn't get this many pines in the Dakotas, for example. There is a lot of snow coverage in Minnesota. I feel like the best option here would probably be Minnesota. So that's what I'm going to lock in. Okay. You guys both had pretty good thought processes here. You both got the bordering state. It is North Dakota. So you each get one point. So we'll go on to picture number two. Okay. Hmm. It's giving like Utah, Colorado, New Mexico vibes. Not a ton to go off of here. Very sunny. I think I'll go uh, New Mexico. All right. Somewhere out west for sure with this dry mountainous landscape. I'm seeing what I think is sagebrush. Um, and so I would probably be thinking the Great Basin area. Don't I have much to go off of? It looks like there might be a baller in the back, but it's like very hard to make out. So my first thought was like Nevada, just because that's probably the best option with this. Like there's, there's a slight chance it's a bordering state like Utah maybe. Nevada is probably just the best option with this general sort of vibe that looks like the Great Basin. Yeah, and I really don't see anything that would make me not go Nevada here, so I think I'm gonna lock in that. You guys had a little bit of different thought processes here. You're both not in the correct state. It's actually Oregon. Radu, you'll get the bordering state point there. I'll take that. Puts Radu at two. Carson's still at one point, but doing pretty well. Carson, if you're ready, we'll go to picture three. It looks very Appalachian. You can kind of see a, kind of see a car be helpful to zoom in too, but oh no front plates. Interesting. I think I'll just go ah, let's go West Virginia. Okay. What I immediately noticed in this round was these like interesting like rocks. So like basically the road kind of like cut through the mountain. And I kind of associate that with like West Virginia, Kentucky. I would probably lean West Virginia here. The car is weird, like it low key looks like it has the front, but I don't think like it doesn't look like any plate that I recognize so I think I'm not gonna trust it yeah, I guess there's a possibility it's like Tennessee or something that would probably be my next guess I think I'm just gonna lock in West Virginia here okay you guys both guessed the same state for this one West Virginia I was hoping that you would because it is West Virginia well done let's go nicely done nicely nice done work. three points each for you Raddy still leads by one point it is five to four You're doing really well guys so far so good First thought here, Florida, could be California. Not re really any other options. Or a really weird Louisiana or Texas or something. I don't know. I think it's Florida. Palm trees are pretty tall. There's red soil. I'm gonna go Florida for the red soil. Okay. This is an interesting one, because I didn't really get an immediate vibe one way or the other on like California and Florida. The house is definitely, and the palms obviously definitely feel like Florida, like the house with the tiled roof. 
I think I would lean Florida. I feel like the houses look slightly more like Florida. It's a weird one. Also the, like no grass anywhere, or I guess there's some grass in the back, but that's kind of weird for Florida. You picked, you picked a good location. <laughs> <laughs> Like, some houses look really Florida and others don't. 30 seconds. I feel like I'm leaning California. I feel like the rocks, the rocks is the main thing. Like, using the pebbles instead of grass. Like, I feel like you just don't see that in Florida, so. All right, timer's up, so California, yeah, final okay. answer. Yeah. I was hoping that I would stump you guys with this one. Looks like I successfully did. This was Texas. Wow. It's Corpus <laughs> Christi. <laughs> so no points for either of you. West Coast, mountains. Colorado. I, I don't know. This is a tough one. Very well could just be like, I don't know, Alabama. Yeah, that one national forest. But the trees look very red. Kind of mean West Coast, right? Very interesting round. I mean, the road looks very, not very new. Let's go with, we'll go Idaho final answer. All right. I'm going to shout out Oscar for this one because looks, this looks like a red road. Don't really know what that means though, in this case. The pine trees and like we have some Aspen as well. Like it definitely feels Western. My mind goes to Colorado when I see Aspen like that. And I, I feel like Colorado would probably work here. It could be like slightly over the border in New Mexico, but I feel like based off the road, I'd kind of lean Colorado. Utah is also a possibility, but do I want to go Utah? Nah, I feel like I have to go just Colorado here. So I'm going to lock in Colorado. Okay. Unfortunately, you both did not get this correct. This is Arizona. So we had Carson. Oh, wait. Oh. I know what road it is. Do it's you? The okay. One, it's the North Rim Road, right? Yeah, it is. It oh is. Oh my God. As <laughs> soon as you said it. Oh no. Yeah. So this is just next to the Grand Canyon. No bordering yeah. states for you guys, but close. <laughs> what do you mean? The four quarters? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Picture six. Just a tough one. I see windmills. Very reminiscent of Ohio, Indiana border, Chicago land, even. That pole looks very weird. Maybe some hills. I'll go with Indiana. All right. Ooh, we have a wind turbine. That's interesting. Yeah, really interesting location. My mind went to Delaware. Like, I feel like it kind of looks like the Midwest, but I feel like it's not. I would kind of lean somewhere in the Delmarva Peninsula. Like, I, I hope it's not like Maryland because like the Maryland Delaware toss up there is like really tough. I don't know what it is about it. It's like super flat. They do grow a lot of corn there as well. Like the trees are slightly different. Like it's it's a different kind of tree than I feel like you get in the Midwest a lot of times. So I'm, I think it really feels like Delaware to me. So I'm gonna lock that in. I was hoping that I could uh, get you guys a little confused with. I successfully achieved that goal. It is Rhode Island, believe it or not. Ooh. What? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, and I thought I was like outsmarting you by going Delaware. <laughs> no, sir. No points for either of you. Score remains five to four. We are halfway through. On to location seven. This is a tough one. Got a few license plates. Can't read the closest one. Looks like it has green letters though. Very tall buildings. Oh, this is just Denver, right? Yeah, I think this is just Colorado. We'll go with that. All right. Okay, we finally got an urban location. <laughs> it's a big city, so it's kind of you kind of have less to work off here. I feel like if it's a smaller town, you can kind of get a vibe of like the architecture, but like I don't recognize it off the bat. Plate is interesting. Like I don't know why there's like a green looking plate. I'm trying to get any sort of information like looking in the distance, but I really don't. Like the only thing I can say is like I would probably lean more towards like somewhere in the Midwest. Could be like Detroit, Cleveland, something like that. So like maybe Ohio could be a good guess here, I feel like. I'm kind of looking at the banner in the back and it has like the four quadrants and I know that's like something that like Indianapolis has with the four quadrants. That is time. Okay. What's I'm, your final answer? Yeah, I'm I'm going to say Indiana. Indiana. All right. This one did not go how I expected. Carson, you were pretty quick to call out Denver here. Congratulations, Carson. It is indeed Denver. I credit living here currently. Little unfair advantage. I, uh, unintentional. <laughs> Carson will take three more points. It is seven to five at Carson. Let's go to location eight. The trees to the right are very interesting. Everything else, I don't know. You can see the changing leaves in the background and this feels like could be horrible it could be could be texas 
or Oklahoma. Can't get over those skinny trees in the far right. Maybe Texas. Well, I'll go Texas final answer. We got a single yellow line here. Fortunately, we do know it's the US, so that doesn't really <laughs> do much. I don't know, the vegetation's like very ambiguous. It kind of just feels like very central, like you have a mix of stuff going on. So my mind went to like Arkansas, for example, something in that area, like Arkansas, Missouri. Overall, yeah, the vibe I'm getting is like that sort of central south area. So it could be like over the border in like Oklahoma, for example. It's it's a tough one. <laughs> I'm just going to lock in Arkansas. That was, that was where my mind went, so. It was actually Arkansas. Well done. Let's go. So, uh, Carson, you still get the, the bordering state point there. We have a tie game, guys. It is eight to eight. Four more locations. Who is going to take this? See a trash can. Sometimes those have names on them. I'm not sure where this could be. Looks like it could be Pennsylvania. Hilliness and mobile homes. Yeah, I'll go with Pennsylvania. Wow. This is not an easy one. I don't even know, like I didn't even really get like a good vibe off the top of my head. I don't know, I wanted to say more Northern and so I was thinking if it could be something like New York, like I feel like it's something weird. What else could it be? I I, I just kind of don't get the vibe that it's Pennsylvania for some reason. Like the mountains don't seem quite right for Pennsylvania. They're just more like Southern tier sort of mountains rather than like the more ridge like mountains you usually get in Pennsylvania. But I really hope it's not more south, but I feel like the houses don't really feel that southern. I think I'm gonna say New York here. I lock that in. Okay, uh, you guys did well here once again. Very impressive stuff. It is New York. Well done. Nice, nice. It is 11 for Radu, 9 for Carson. Still very close, and still three rounds left. On to round 10. For this one, I'll tell you we, we're looking north here. We're looking north. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that confuses me more. <laughs> um, this is just not like the Bay Area. It's not California. It could be like South Carolina. I think this could be South Carolina, but that plate, I mean, you can't really see it. So South Carolina, Virginia, um, but that, that, that wouldn't make sense with the coast. You got about 30 seconds. I'm going to Ohio, final answer. Okay, big switch to Ohio. I, I told Carson the compass direction here, so I'll tell you too, this is north facing. North, okay. I'm not sure that helps me or confuses me more. So we have a big body of water to our north. I mean, it doesn't feel like either coast, so I was kind of feeling like it could be one of the Great Lakes. I guess you would kind of lean towards like Ohio or Indiana with that. Oh, it could also be like New York, I guess, again. Although that would be interesting, putting New York back to back. <laughs> Insert, what is all this water? <laughs> I, <mean. laughs> I don't know why I kind of want to go for like the interesting guess and go for like Indiana, even though there's like much less coastline. 10 seconds. I guess the dunes, the dunes make me want to go Indiana. Indiana That's dunes, done. But yeah, I'll just lock in Indiana then. This is Indiana. Let's go. <laughs> Good choices, yeah. Looking at a score of 14 for Radu and 10 for Carson. Round 11. Team Boat Willies, wow. Okay. Plate we do have. There's definitely some white in there. No front plates. Looks like a fake place. A hidden gem. Yeah, it looks like a movie set. I don't know why, but Michigan... It's reminding me of Michigan. Could be very south as well. Go Florida, or even Texas, I don't know. 2023 coverage. I guess we'll go Michigan. That's that's what's calling my name now. Steamboat Willies. Okay, I mean, we got no fronts on this car. This play, it's hard to tell the one like right in the corner. Oh, we have like palmettos in the back. Ooh, I mean, I see palmettos. I have to like think of South Carolina. Could this actually be South Carolina? Do I know this town? I haven't been here, that's for sure. But I feel like it could be, it could definitely be South Carolina. Yeah, it's like, it, it would be really hard to get that out of my head now that I've seen like those palmettos. Maybe it could be like North Carolina, but I probably just say South Carolina. I like it for the architecture as well. I think I'm gonna just lock in South Carolina. You guys had very different guesses here. This is Florida. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. The score remains. So let's go to the last round, just finish it out, see what you guys can do with this one. I saved this one for last for a reason, we'll see what you do. Hey, I wonder why it's for last. Looks like a pretty standard location. The pines, there's gotta be some trick to it though. This could be Maine, Washington, I don't know, the gravel road is strange. 
Is this like Google car coverage? Yeah, yeah, this is car. Okay, blue car there. I bet RC will know that blue car. Let's go Montana in between Washington and Maine, kind of. What do we got here? Well, there's like a sign in the back, but it's like just too far to make out. What I'm seeing here is I think these are like all ponderosa pines, like this basically every tree except for the ones without leaves. When I see that, I usually kind of lean more west. So like probably like Eastern Washington was like my first thought. I feel like it doesn't really look like Oregon and California. I guess it could also be like over the border in Idaho. That area like really fits with like these forests and I guess the tall grass as well. It's just like this very dry feel. I think I'm gonna go for Eastern Washington and just hope it's not Idaho. <laughs> All right, this is a, a very strange location for sure. You both are not correct. It is actually in Nebraska. Oh. Crazy location for I mean, sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. No points once again for this one. 14 points for Radu and 10 points for Carson. You guys did well. Radu does take home the win here. Well played to both of you, though. Thank you so much. Some really cool locations in there. I hope you enjoyed this challenge. If you did, make sure to give it a like down below and subscribe to the channel for tons of GeoGuessr and Geography content every week. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will catch you with the next video.